Hello Coolers, welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing some interesting stories. First and foremost, we start with Xavi Hernandez's pre-match press conference earlier today, ahead of the La Liga game tomorrow against Granada. Of course, Xavi spoke about Usman Dembele, spoke about Memphis Depay, Fatih, Araujo, Abde, Coutinho's transfer today, and many more, which we are going to be discussing on as we move ahead. Then secondly, we are going to be talking about Ferran Jutla. As recent reports are claiming that Premier League outfit Leeds United are ready to table 10 million euros bid for Ferran Jutla. Of course, Jutla have been performing very brightly recently. Of course, earlier today I did spoke about how some La Liga teams are showing interest in him. And of course, now Leeds United and the Premier League are also interested and they are ready to table 10 million euros. We are going to be discussing much about that as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Xavi sat in front of the media to do his due diligence ahead of Barcelona's clash against Granada on the weekend. It will be their third trip this week already after having won the first two, one goal to nil and two goals to one against Mallorca and Linares Deportivo respectively. We follow the quote in the thread below. Of course, on the game, Javi said, in Granada, we can achieve three vital points to bring us closer. The first objective, which is to get into the Champions League spot. We are doing well with two victories and it is an opportunity to continue this good dynamic. On Ansu Fati's recovery, Javi said, With Ansu, after the last experience, we do not want to take any risks and he will not be there tomorrow. He will be with us in the Super Cup. On Ferran Torres, he said, Ferran has tested positive again today. He will not be available tomorrow and Alemani is working to adjust the salary limit in order to be able to register him. Then on the importance of tomorrow's game, he said, I see every game as a final because this is Barca. On Felipe Coutinho's exit to Aston Villa, he said, It says a lot about Coutinho that he leaves because he wants to play and succeed when it has cost him here and the salary has been lowered. With Umtiti, we will see. But the truth is that I cannot complain about him. I am delighted with everyone. On Nico and Gavi's promotion, Javi said, Nico and Gavi, having a first team number is something that we will decide soon. For me, it makes no sense that they still have a B team number, but we will see. We have to look at a lot of things. On Ace Abde, he said, Abde tested negative today, he trains with the team and tomorrow he can enter the squad. On Usman Dembele, he said, Dembele is part of the squad. Against Linares, he played almost without training. He came out with a good attitude and made a difference. He will continue to be part of the squad and important. On Barcelona's improvement, Javi said, Right now, the only rival that has been better than us is Bayern. We have competed well against everyone and we are going to compete with Real Madrid for sure. The only one was Bayern and since then, we have improved. On Alex Colado, he said, I would like him to always play because he is ours and he has a lot of talent. The pity is that we have not been able to register him due to a bureaucratic issue. The goal is for Colado to return in June. On Dani Alves, he said, Dani Alves can give us many things as a fullback, as an interior, as a winger. He gives us many options. Then on Ronald Arau's injury, Javi said, Arau's surgery has gone very well. We will have to see his evolution, but at the moment, it is not a given um, that he will be there for the Super Cup. On Memphis Depay's return, he said, Memphis will be with us tomorrow. He will travel to Granada. Then on to the next story of discussion. Amidst Barcelona's crisis in the attacking department, Ferran Jotkla arrived as a welcome surprise. The beating player has scored as many goals as Luke de Jong in significantly fewer games, and his general awareness as a striker has helped the team perform as a fluid unit. However, the imminent returns of Memphis Depay and Ansu Fati put his future in the first team at risk. Despite his impressive displays, he is far from being an untouchable element of the team. Moreover, the arrival of Ferran Torres and the possible signing of Alvaro Morata will add more pressure on the young star. According to reports from El Nacional, the player has you know, attracted interest from the Premier League. If he is pushed back down to the B team, he could welcome a move to England, particularly Leeds United, who have just shown an interest in him. 
Marcelo Bielsa side, you know, have had their share of problems in attack. A signing in January to reinforce the position is not ruled out, and Jude Klaar is one of the possibilities. Leeds could pay up to 10 million euros for the forward. However, the final decision stands with Xavi. The Barcelona manager has benefited from the B team's players' performances this season, and it remains to be seen what he decides. In four starts this season, the youngster has scored two goals for Barcelona. Though he has missed two big chances, his 2.2 shots per 90 are a much needed asset. The youngster could well have a future at the Camp Nou, but it does have promising options if the same does not materialize. So colors, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to do so, so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye bye.